Hello everybody and welcome back to Belle's channel and today we are going to be doing the quest oh my god what was it called um that's it passage to anywhere so in order to revive your fellow colonist stranded in hibernation Dr Wells needs you to travel to Stella Bay and um Oh my god, where is it? Where was I? On the terraformed moon of Monarch. Monarch is indicated by the Halcyon Holdings corporate board, so you have to procure a nav key through unofficial channels. <laughs> okay, so that means we need to go to Groundbreaker and um, speak to Gladys. <laughs> and we also had to retrieve a holographic shroud, which we did in the last thingy. Um, uh, da, 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 da. obviously he was doing all this with Alex Hawthorne and I think he realised he needed a passenger um, so this is a com there's also a companion quest it's called the cleaning machine we found a non-operative sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical on the unreliable if you can get it running again the heat, it may prove useful so that's why I'm in Alex Hawthorne's or oh, my room uh if we go to his it wasn't there before until we activate the quest but go to sam first was sam result um experimental note do not forget you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance also mechanical in mudsville scrap heap during your last job with a few key modifications i can envision a combat capable variant so i might say a clean mean killing machine second <clears throat> Moval of factory standing part successful acid steeper has been delayed solved three months not like I have more pressing amount to attend to ah but I do um so I got six thousand three hundred XP for going on to the third result um I'm giving up hope on the delivery the part I've lost in transit. It's not turning up anytime soon. But good news! I heard from a fellow who knows the gal who knows the broker uh, who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of Acid Steeper. I can uh, filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I'm sure I never thought of going back to that pitch. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. Oh, I picked it up following. I'll pick it up following the next pick stop. Back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. So, the thing, Acid Sweeper. Bunch of. Uh, Picture the part from Roseway. I don't know where that is. No, I don't know where that is. We'll just come across it. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, no, I don't want journal. Um, there's also this, um, weapons from the void. Um, it's kind of going to be like one of them quests we just do as we go. So, at Groundbreaker, there is a science weapon. I think for hammer or something. Um, if we search in Gladys's shop for old records, apparently the smuggler acquired several leads that way. So we could do that. Um, but we're primarily going to be doing this quest, Passage to Anywhere. Um, and as I've already read it, we need to speak to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Um, does it see who the Groundbreaker is? It's just a neutral station. Um, so as you can see, we have people. So we've got Pavati, who's obviously, you can see that's her. I want to take off her clothes top thing. But I don't know how to get rid of that. But it does provide her quite a bit of armor. Um, and then we've got. I don't know, Pavati's got her skill that we can get. Oh no, he does, sorry. What am I doing? Where am I? Ah, oh, here I am. We can't, we ain't got a perk for her yet. But so, Vicar Max. Um, he has got a soft shotgun and a telescoping staff. So it's 82 damage, that's pretty good. Um, so that's him. 
and he does have a perk point. So we can do both health, threat generated, threat generated, 10% on hack. Increase your hack, oh yeah we'll do that. <laughs> He's really good with like dialogue and um, Oops, sorry. I didn't apply it. Yeah, he's really good with hacking and he's really, really good with like dialogue, you know, manipulation and things like that. So, let us begin passage to anywhere. So, I need to pop down to here, next to Ada, and click passage. <gasps> Wow. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh my god. So this is the colony, I think he's describing it. So there's Terra 2. <clears throat> Excuse me. A Terra 2, an idyllic terrestrial planet. Halcyon's wealthiest elite live in its capital city, Byzantium. Um, while the colony's labourers live in corporate owned townships along the frontier. So, where are we? I think we're like outside of that. So there's Phineas's lab. Um, that doesn't make sense. Alright, so there's Hephaestus. Festus, the closest planet to the sun, Hephaestus Mining Company was first to establish outpost here um, and as such it has claimed the planet for itself. Typhoon, an uninhabitable icy planetoid on the edge of the Halcyon system. Typhoon has nothing to offer to the Halcyon colony. I bet there's some people there. Alright, we've got Skil Skilula? Skylada and whatever uh, is one of the largest asteroids orbiting Halcyon, the largest in the grouping of rocks known as the Charybdis Cluster. <laughs> um, Hephaestus Mining only claimed the asteroid, but it's once claimed this asteroid, but its prospecting site was abandoned decades ago. We got Erd. Oh my God! What's with the names? Erdanos. Halcyon's second Jovian gas giant. Its atmosphere is rich in hydrogen, helium, and various n noble gases. Distillation plants in the atmosphere harvest these gases for energy. Then there's Tartarus. Tartarus, named after its hellish atmosphere, Tartarus is where the board maintains the maximum security penal complex, known as the labyrinth. Ooh. What's that? It doesn't say. Olympus. The largest of Halcyon's two Jovian gas giants. Perpetual storms reek, r rake the planet's atmosphere, rendering it uninhabitable. Monarch, one of the one of Olympian's many satellites. What should have been Halcyon's second habitable world has long since been abandoned by the board due to monstrous ravenous creatures. Ooh. Just quickly. Welcome to the system. Da, 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 da. You can pleasure negotiating with a lot. Any brains require special guys and keys. Don't make that to learn that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um on to character, just really quickly. If you look at your reputation, it can tell you of places. So these are secondary. So um so deserters you know, I've got I've got 100% positivity, but I've also got a bit of negative. Uh, for space of choice, I've just got 100, um, so I get 25% off at vendors. Um, the board is obviously a little bit positive and a little bit negative. Don't know where that's come from. That must have been from my choice, and then obviously the 2% must have come from electing Ada as its thingy. Uh, Sublight salvage shipping. Don't know where that's from. The Monarch Stellar Industries. They obviously own Monarch. Once a loyal board owned company, Monarch Stellar Industries, split off to become their own private entity until the mem the lead under the leadership of Senjar Nadid. Oh, whatever that says. Work centric rights and democratic ideals. Oh, so that's pretty cool. It's not like a dick, is he? 
Seeks to bring his own brand of freedom to the rest of Halcyon. That's quite nice. I kind of like that. Um, living in the ruins of Amber Heights on Monarch. Led by Graham Brent, a staunch of philosophists. They hope to one day tear down the corporate establishment that they believe has brought the colony to the brink of death. I'm with you, buddy. Groundbreaker. So this is the place we're going to go to next. The former colony ship turned space station. Oh, so it's not a planet. Groundbreaker is the only township in the system operating outside the board's control. The board's control. The Groundbreaker's crew are led by engineer turned Captain June June Lee Tennyson, and they are fiercely protected with their independence. Right on. All right, so that's the Groundbreaker. So that's where we are. I think that's where we oh no, there we are there we are see that's our ship there okay let's go to the groundbreaker <laughs> look at the little animation that's really cute the groundbreaker. so that is the groundbreaker look at the visuals I mean man so yeah we're gonna you got a minute Okay. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? June Lay. Um, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. I thought you said you could this. <laughs> Uh, sure, we could have it head over to uh, engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Um. Did you learn your trade? Da -da -da -da. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. I didn't see the humor. He meant funny as in odd. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. But you actually are good at this and you enjoy it. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much of doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. You moved straight back to Edgewater. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Oh. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. I think it's time to move along, Priority. What? You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. Ow. What the fuck? I didn't even mean to click that. Oh my god. Oh, that's a relief. I didn't realize I was Thanks clicking that. For letting me stick around, I mean. I'm sorry about that. <gasps> Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, flying about on his own? Yeah. Oh, so now I can actually tell her to go. Uh, break time's over. 
So, what did it mean, get rid of her permanently? Like, what the hell? Can I, like, take yes, him you instead? Me I don't want to. Again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Dude, just shut up. Beat you out of my career, I want you off the ship. <gasps> Do, be careful you don't click that. Like, they should give you a quick warning fan. Are you sure you want to say this? Remind me what the thoughts. I actually want to know about that quickly. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Cool. Um. All right, I think I'll go back to you. So I can't have him as a companion. He's just like on my ship, and I can just talk to him for information. It's only prov. Prov. Oh my god, I can't say her name again. Good luck, Captain. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks, sweet. Oh. Select. I'll select Pavati. Oh, that's a pretty cool system. You don't actually have to go over and actually speak to them and dismiss one and but you can remove them permanently. So could that mean there are more companions that you have to decide who you want to bring along? So you can keep a maximum of five from what I saw, with the addition of that Sam. So there's maybe that we have to say no to some people. But then would that mean we can't ask them to join us in the end? Questions and decisions. It's more like, reminds me of that like Twilight line. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh god. I wonder what this groundbreak is going to be like. Ooh. Sorry about that. I accidentally turned off my phone. Uh, my, my mic. So there's my ship. It is a massive. Um, there's someone there. Jane Elson. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Oh, so something's wrong with the ship. I like it. Hey, Captain. I never thought I'd be able to say that. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together. I hope you rest well on that. Oh. So when you leave the ship, you pick a companion that you want to bring. Or maybe you don't. And then even if you accidentally click them back, then you can always send them back. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Going for a stroll around the docking base? I actually remember the argument. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. What happened? I have, I have this form, right? right? Guy, Guy never, never liked, liked me. me. Always, Always trying, trying to get a, get a rise, rise out, out of me. me. But, but I keep I my keep chin my up, right? right? Be the bigger, bigger man, man, I tell myself. myself. He's, a He's a spacer's chosen, chosen man, though. though. So, so when the chosen, chosen beat my rangers the other night, night my, my foreman comes, comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. He beat your rangers? What the fuck? And that's when you resolved your defense like an adult, right? Ooh, so you defended the honor of your team. Exactly. exactly. I was, I was only doing, doing what any self-respecting self Rangers, Rangers fan would have done. done. Look, Look, this was this a long, was a long time, time coming. coming. 
guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Oh, got any puns? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? <laughs> That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off. Guessing you've got places to be. I appreciate your time. Never caught your name. I'm Belle. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, See you Felix. Around, boss. He seems like a quite nice fellow. Steve Dorff. Yeah, I've done work for Sublight. Need to pay the bill somehow. Mechanicals all over, but they still got us sweating to move up. So we need to go to customs. I know it's that like straight away. <clears throat> oh, I think it's Steve and Dory like think they think they make up some names in here. So there's Felix's thing. Sedit Sedish I thought that was sedation. It's not. I don't know what it is. Full Dory conspiracy conspiracy commit conspiracy. Okay, unless the medical practice destruction of poor McCred. Wanted dead or alive. Captain Gunnar McCred. For several accounts of public intoxication. Oh my god, I cannot speak. Public intoxication, destruction of groundbreaker property, unpaid docking fees, and resisting arrest. Contact Commandant Sanita. Sunny, yeah. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, first you report a tip, may result in imprisonment or fine. Try to collect reward. Is that it? It's just I know this. I know that same dude. So they don't like him here. Customs and inspection, right this way. Corporal Leonard Wheeler. Identification, please. Here you go, Captain Hawthorne. You said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. <sighs> that is so... Oh yeah, like I can just say that. How do I get this result? I want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. Udom. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. Can't miss it. Why am I shooting? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Great, I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Her shipment? A handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. I bet we can get the replacement part for Sam there. Okay. Much Got it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, so let's have a quick little word with him. But first, just before we do that, so Udon Bedford. He was the one who was corresponding with Hawthorne. He had drinks with him and things like that. Um, and I was wondering how we would find him. I'm glad he's obviously we know her. But that shipment of Sam units, we might be able to find a replacement for our Sam. You know, who's on the ship. And it looks like we're stuck here till we get this unpounded. So I'm looking for someone in Gladys. 
you'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. And where can I find your body? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. A little bit more. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Cool. Ki-Jun Lei might, might have an errand needs running. running. She's, She's all tied, tied up, up trying to fix our heat problem. problem. You'll, find You'll find her in engineering. engineering. No kidding? I'd love, I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Got it, thank you. That's my job, after all. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep, yep. How does house and holdings go? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, what can you tell me about you, Don Bedford? He's friendly enough, unless, unless you speak ill of the boar. Get, get the sense, sense he doesn't, doesn't care, care for groundbreaker ground much. much. Not, that Not that he, he would, would, being a board man and all. He's, He's our liaison. liaison. Cool. Sounds like a fun guy. Thanks for the info. Goodbye, mate. Be seeing you. Huh? I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Freelance are definitely supply. Jeez, wait, I'm more about impounded Hawthorne ship, but no Hawthorne. Wonder what happened here. So, he's friends with Hawthorne. This Udon Bedford, whatever his name is. So, he's just a bit like. Hi there. Hi there. Haven't, Haven't seen you around before. You know, he's a bit like, well, they must have won the ship. What can security do for you today? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, ma'am? What can you tell me? They're run by Miss Hagen. Half the tramp captains and contractors in the system have worked for her. I ought to warn you straight off. Scuttlebutt says some of the jobs they do aren't exactly above board downright anti-business, if you catch my meaning. I need you to explain that. Let's say there's been times when I heard somebody needed a thing, and somebody else had such a thing, but they weren't inclined to sell. Now let's say the one who had the thing suddenly found theirs missing, and the one who needed got one. If anyone asks, Sublight says it got salvaged from an old wreck. Case closed. If anybody could prove them criminals, the board would have put their foot down a long time past. They always got, uh, what do they call it? Deniability? Something gets nicked or someone turns up dead. Sublight says, hey, independent contractor, not our responsibility. But everyone knows what they're doing, top to bottom. Against is a strong word. Let's say that if you need something the board ain't inclined to sell, you might look to Sublight to get it. You might pay Sublight a shitload of bits for it, but that money gets passed on to their contractors, so in the end, it's... That doesn't sound right to me, Captain. People do what they gotta to get by. Oh, sure, sure, sorry. Gets a might boring at this desk, you know. Then I get to chatting too much, and Commandant Sunia's gotta reprimand me again, and... Oops, doing it again. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Captain's real understanding. 
awful generous of you, listening to me like this. Oh. I like that little bit of personality in it. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. In the mix. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. I'll take the picture. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. The outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. He'll be in the board offices on the promenade. No doubt dreaming up new ways to be a pain in my ass. Glad to hear it. Anything else? I'm being my way. Um, Udon Bedford became friends with Hawthorne and he kept asking him about where Wells is. I think he kind of suspected that he was working with him and he was trying to find some information on him. That's Jesus, it's like a massive mall. The Lost Hope. I think that's a bar. Rest and go. I think this is a wee. Oh, no. Can we rent an upstairs room? We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Um, I'll be on my way, dude. Thanks. What the hell's going on? We were in a holding pattern for two hours just to get in. Tom's had to go on break. Chief didn't have enough hands to coordinate docking. Something about the radiators being busted. I don't know. Not my problem, right? So the ship, something's wrong with the ship. Spacer's choice. So this is a, a Spacer's choice vendor, that's freaky. Well, sorry about the heat. Well, Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. A lot of slogans to keep... Okay. You you work for Space Choice ever been to Heard as well? of it. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery. Which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice beer. Take what you have, Polly. Sorry, I'm not listening to everything he says. It'll take for like forever. Uh, have a look. Ooh, so we can get stuff repaired here. And to be honest, I'm probably more inclined to spend money on getting stuff repaired. So Are you Waste disposal, bells, shells, I love that, that'd be my name at the store. I think, what is this? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. 
I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. What? Maybe I could look in on Jesse? Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Oh. A quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught inside, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. So I need to get into here. That's what the whole graphic shroud what is for. To be the problem? I'd like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. The records say? Have you actually spoken through yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. You seem well Not without dispensation from Chief June Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Makes sense. Take See you care. around. So we're not going to do that right now. Um, I'm just going to have a look around, really. Um, to be honest, I can probably admit that this is going to take a little while. I'm going to try and... When might we expect you out here again? Can't surface is already sold out again. So this is what was it called? The Lost Hope. This is a bar. This is Halcyon Doom. We interrupt a regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Mana. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. You've been listening to Halcyon News, your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Vera, whatever. I don't suppose you know where I can get to Cellar Bay on Mana Cellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about ten years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. Stella Bay. Uh, I didn't know where Stella Bay was. It wasn't showing it. Um, do you know why? It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kind of chew your face off for fun. Might all be bored propaganda, though. If you're aiming to get to Stella Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. So I think Stella Bay is in Monarch. Nothing you need and everything you want. So you can get quite a few bits from there. So let's talk to her quickly again. What's your pleasure, stranger? Um, let's just get all the traders coming through here. Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? What's this heat issue? I'm just going the back. radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. 
It sounds like they've an issue with the thermal control Couldn't system. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here, and it it's only gonna get worse. Uh, 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 maybe I can do something about that. That's not for me to say, but if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find, find cheap tune light in engineering. engineering. Right. Cool, 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 cool. Let's let's leave this place. Let's go. Can you find the outer suits Bell, bell shells. Oh. Bell of You know, you know that, that sound, sound when you snapped, snapped on, on an injector, injector clip? clip. Ah, that's, that's how, how you, you know your, your weapon, weapon loves, loves you back. back. Shells. I got a full shells. line of weapon, weapon modifications. I'd be happy, happy to, show to show you. Cool, let's trade. So you can buy weapons from her. I'm pretty happy with my weapons right now. So, no, I'm not going to be buying any from her. And then we have the waste disposal. I think this is like actual waste disposal. Yummy. Yeah, that's like, I don't see why they needed a big sign on that. Uh, okay, so let's go up here. So there we've got Halcyon, which I think is where that, whatever his name was. Um, what quest are we doing? So we've got quite a new quest, we've got weapons, oh we got that. Who goes there, we need to kill this captain, whatever. Talk to Wanda Dorset in the sick bay, corporate wheeler. I can ask you to update Dr. Dorset in the sick bay, status of a shipment. Uh, so how are we like supposed to get to her? Let me save really, really quick, just in case they're gonna kill me before I do this. Doctor Dorset's adept hand with the blade. Harvey leaves a scar. Still haven't found a good way to get the blood out from under my nose. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Willa told me to... Oh. Said they won't be coming. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find him. I'd be, I'd be grateful, grateful if you'd spare, spare the time. time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. Charybdis, that's where I'd start, for I the adventuring type. You look out though, the place is probably crawling with outlaws. Alright, so that's obviously... And later on after we've figured out how we can get the hell out of here. So we got public terminal, ad box. So this is sublight salvage and shipping. Uh, board patrol nicked a friend of mine. Accuser of piracy. Shit. Can you actually do it? No. One of the cleanest folk I know. She found a hold up ship and was pulling a legal salvage. One of the big cruisers rolled up on her and claimed she'd done the holding her own self. What the hell are they gonna do with it? They already done it. She was sent to the labyrinth on Tartarus. Disruption of intra-colony commerce. Oh, sick. That's a prison for hard cases. Violent repeaters. Nobody gets out. I know, man. Don't I know? Well, that's Spratwurst. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's... Oh, excuse myself. Thank you. <laughs> Ike's Armory. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only we. Oh, dude. Okay. Um, are you space yourself? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked at Redanos, indentured to the corporation. 
Come on. I was born into corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Oh, I might trade. So we can get things here. Oh, I can buy weapon parts and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't want to be buying anything because I don't know, like, how long it's going to take to get Ooh. That's twenty oh that's the helmet. <laughs> that's the helmet. I will buy that helmet though. Um nine nine nine. I need my armour right now. I don't think I can see it there. My armour is like sixteen or something. And that's about sixteen, so I'm not gonna be paying five hundred for the exact same. That's twenty six. Oh do I want it? I don't know. No, no. We'll, we'll come back, we'll come back. Don't make big purchases yet. Engineering is down there, so we need to go down there in a bit. Auntie Cleo's. She's a robot. Hearty greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Okay. Dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Tropical pasta pack, Auntie Cleo. Tobacco, tobacco on ears. Catch her. Oh, wow. She's a bit. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. That's how it's done. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Julie's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache food on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off those details. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I get to upgrade my skills. Um. Probably gonna a little bit of dialogue. I've got quite high tech. Not too much on leadership ship, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, we've also got a new perk that we can have. I'm gonna do that, I think. I don't think I need to because I've got quite you get quite a lot of space. Nothing weighs like like stupid, you know what I mean? Base armor rating. Uh, it's been, I might get sport speed. Let's just go for it. Just go for that. All right. I don't know what we're doing. I don't want to do that yet. Worst contract. Talk to Jesse. Okay, we'll decide a minute. <laughs> Drinking <laughs> sapphire wine. Have party meet. Pavati meet with Junel. Okay, the cleaning machine. Where's... That's not showing up. Um, salvage in the sky. Run her off the game, grand big promise. No, I think what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll go speak to Udom Bedford. He's in here. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing stamina. A tossball first. <laughs> Coaches and, and referees are debating how and if 
This behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. This has been Halcyon. It's like everything's backwards, literally. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Um... Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Yeah, yep. He, he sure did. Oh, that's just like him. <laughs> Such a sentimental man. I think you... Tell me, how did he die? Uh, um... Let's not tell this dude about what we were up to. No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... Their droppings. <laughs> it, okay, um, again, I'm very sorry. Right, right, you're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Oh. Why is it so interesting Wells anyway? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Okay. No, Alex never mentioned. That's... Well, he never mentioned because he just <laughs> talked to him. News. So technically, it's oh, not a lie. What am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? What's the spaceport have you had? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Okay. Uh, is there anything I need to help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. No, I can tell you where... I can't tell you where Wells is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Okay. Good, so now I can leave. Now that I've talked to him that I can actually like Have you seen this leave. Reward offered for information to the um So that's the engineering. I think I'm gonna just really quickly check out where is it? Tas salvaging the Is that it? Yeah. Lily here Hagen runs sublight salvage and shipping harvest located on the Grand Bucky Promenade next to the Spratworth vendor so that's where they are um I think we're gonna end the video here you know we've, we've come to Grand Becky we've looked at all the places um you know so I think yeah I think we could probably end it here it's quite a pretty place to be honest with you really inventive like, like a big mall which is what you would imagine of a culture and colony so based on employment and advertising and um and companies <laughs> uh, so yeah we're gonna end it here and in the next episode i think we're gonna speak to sublet's thing and go to engineering and then i think if we have time we might try and sneak into the medical bay depends on which i want to do first thank you for watching this is bell and goodbye